Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. What's your name? I'm so happy that you made it back today. I'm also feeling blissful. Blissful is a feeling word that means you're happy and content and at peace. If you're feeling blissful, your face might look like this. Ah, I'm feeling blissful this morning because I woke up and I found my favorite pencil shoes that I'm wearing today. But maybe you're not feeling blissful today. You're feeling a little bit bashful. Bashful is a feeling word that means you're a little bit scared of what to say and do next. If you're feeling bashful, your face might look like this. <laughs> now you already know how I like to check how I'm feeling, and that's by looking in the mirror. And all week, you've been helping me find what color mirror I'm going to use next by looking at the patterns in my basket. And we're going to do that again today. Let's see if you can figure out what color mirror I'm going to use by me showing you some colors. Let's see, the first color in our pattern is yellow. Hmm. Next is orange. Now, do you think blue is going to come next? Yellow, orange, hmm, let's find out. Oh, yellow. So yellow, orange, yellow, orange. What color mirror do you think I'm going to use? Hmm, yes, yellow. So let me grab my yellow mirror and I'm gonna look at it and see how I'm feeling today. Hmm. I think I know how I'm feeling. Now it's time for you to point to the picture on your screen that best matches how you're feeling today. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling, like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. It is so important for you to check in on how you're feeling and to check in on all your friends around you. Now today we have a special friend who's gonna share their story and picture. His name is Josiah. Look, special letter J for Josiah. Can we say hi to Josiah? Hi, Josiah. In this picture, Josiah is with his mom and dad, and he's looking for a special toy at the store. How do you think Josiah is feeling? How can we find out? Yes, we can look at his face for clues. Let's do that together. So, do you notice that Josiah has really round cheeks that are high. He's smiling, isn't he? And look at his eyes. They're kind of upturned like this, kind of like Miss Lara's eyes when she smiles. How do you think he's feeling? If you think that Josiah is feeling happy, make a happy face like this. If you think that Josiah is feeling moody, and that means he doesn't know how he's feeling, be sad one minute, happy the next, make a moody face like this. Let me take a look. Ooh, I see a lot of happy faces. Josiah, we think you're feeling happy in this picture. Thank you for sharing your story. And I'd love to share your story with all of our friends. If you want to share too, ask a parent, a family member, or a teacher to send it to the address below. All right, you know what that means. It's time to check our visual schedule and find out our plan for the day. So, first thing we did is checked in with our feelings. 
Then it's going to be time to do our weekly investigation. And we're learning about police officers this week. We already learned about the types of uniforms they wear. We looked inside of a police car. And now we're going to look at who helps police officers. And I'll give you a clue. Some of their helpers have four legs. Hmm. Try to think what that might mean. Then it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay. Now before we go check our intentional message, let's do our movement card. So here it is. When I flip this over, we're going to do a movement that starts with the letter I'm going to show you. Ready? Da 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 da! Letter S. S for sit and stand. We're going to sit and stand together. Let's do that four times. Are you ready? Okay, let me stand up and then we're going to sit. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Whew, that was a lot of exercise. Let's walk over to our intentional message. Now we're learning about police officers. Police officers are community helpers. They drive police cars and wear special uniforms. Some animals help police officers do their job. So I know some of you might be learning about pets and animals in your classroom. I wonder what Patty, the police officer, has to say about animals helping the police. Let's check in with her. Oh, Patty, let's see. Patty, how are you doing today? Really good, Miss Lara. I've been very busy helping today. That makes me so happy. I have a question for you, Patty. Do you have animals in your police department? Yes, we have dogs. And what do the dogs do? We have service dogs. They help calm people down when they are stressed. And we have other dogs that go out with us when we're patrolling areas. Wow, I'd love to meet a police dog one day. Do they have a special name? Our department calls the dogs canines. We call them canine unit dogs. That's so cool. I think I'm going to put you down and we're going to learn all about how dogs help police officers. So let me put you down so you can rest. So just like Patty said, some animals help police officers. Look at right here in this picture, an animal is helping sniff something out. It's a dog. Dogs have a really good sense of smell. And they help with rescuing, and they search for things. They help with detection. So if you're ever in an airport and you see a dog sniffing bags, they're looking for something that people shouldn't have in their bags. They also help with guarding. So dogs have to be very calm and they have to know who the police officer is and who criminals might be and they have to guard against that. Now remember I mentioned that there was a special kind of police vehicle? It was a horse. Horses also help police officers. In Fresno, we have a mounting patrol officer unit. Now, it almost shut down because there wasn't enough money, but luckily the community came together and funded them. So now there are four horses, part of the mounting patrol officers, and one that's in training. That's really good news. Okay, so now it's going to be time to sing our police officer song before we move on to our video. So let's do that together. We're gonna sing it two times, ready? I'm a police officer with my star. I help people near and far. If you have a problem, call on me and I will be there one, two, three. Hey, we're gonna sing it really quickly one time. Sing it with me. I'm a police officer with my star. I help people near and far. If you have a problem, call on me and I will be there. One, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna check in and see how animals help police officers by watching a video. 
Let's watch together. Some animals help the police. Do you know which ones help the police do their job? Do you think that it's a lion? Could it be a cow? Is it a duck? Dogs, they're one of the animals that help police. That's right. So how do dogs help police officers? I know, I'll ask my friend Rufus from the police station. How Police Dogs Help by Super Dog Rufus. Oh, hi. My name is Rufus. I work with the police department as a service dog. Some of my friends are police dogs. They help police officers catch people who are breaking the law. They use their sense of smell to find criminals and find things criminals want to hide. Dogs have a very strong sense of smell. Not always a good thing. Somebody had garlic for lunch. Blech. Police dogs can also chase down criminals. They also guard the area for police. Not every dog could be a police dog. They have to go through special training to do the job. Police dogs are very, very busy dogs. That was police dogs according to Super Dog Rufus. Oh no, we wouldn't forget about our horse friends. Some police officers ride horses as part of their mounted patrol team. They also help police officers do their job. I hope you learned a little bit more about how animals help the police department. Goodbye. Hey, and don't forget you can learn all about police dogs in the books around you and on the Sora app. Hey. It's time to see what we accomplished today. So we did our emotional check-in and remember you're checking in with yourself throughout the day. We did our weekly investigation and we learned that some animals help police officers like dogs and horses. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Will you sing with me? Okay, let me grab my pointer and stand up and let's sing our song. Ready? One, two, it was nice to see you. Three, Four, it was good to explore. Five, six, I hope that it sticks. Seven, eight, so in school you'll do great. Nine, ten, can't wait to see you again. And my friends, that means that this is the end. All right, my friends, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for